Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Oh, I already hit the wrong button already. Uh, that's really nice. I'm trying to close, uh, fix the map. I think that'd be good. So today, guys, we're gonna be doing a run. We're in ETS2. We're still using John Ruda's uh, freight liner over here. We we only had 132 miles on this trip. We got some okay. cleaning supplies. Turn it down just a little bit so it won't be too loud. Go ahead and get on the road. And this beautiful looking truck here. Hope it was doing well. I'm going to get in here and um, I take a thumbnail here. That's, uh, we got a lot more stuff coming guys. Uh, I am working on other games to play. And I don't play ETS too as much as I do ATS so... If you want to see more ETS, you know, let me know. This is a tough little area right here. There we go. This is an awesome truck. I mean, an awesome new truck. Turn right. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. The truck running a, uh, a Detroit diesel with an 18 speed eaten full transmission. We will close that map up here in just a minute. Get ready to turn left. There we go. Turn left. Hope I want you to well. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. I've really been enjoying getting here, doing a lot more content for you guys. Um, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see on the channel, make sure you hit the bell and the subscribe button. Um, it really it helps the channel grow. Uh, I know we don't say too much about it, but YouTube is really pushing for us to do that. Um, they're really on us about saying it, uh, getting you know you guys to subscribe to the channel. So. Um, and my my priority is, you know, the if you like what you see, put you to subscribe. But you know, YouTube is pushing it different. So turn left. Try to go out when you see the light. I can see it over there. Guys, I uh, highly do recommend these trucks if, uh, if, if you're okay with paying for your mods. This is one of the trucks you need. This, this is uh, an awesome truck. Exit right. Go straight on. We're going to get up here and we're going to take a thumbnail. Go ahead and do it right here. Gonna make it more daylight where you can see better. Up a little bit more. I 
I think that would look good. Maybe we'll bring it over a little bit. Go and get the front of the truck in a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Alright, there we go. We got our thumbnail. Reroute. Oh, well, we're gonna reroute. That's okay. We wouldn't pay attention to the road. That's okay. No big deal. Just make the video just a little bit longer. But we're alright with that. It's probably going to make us turn around. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Hold on, mate, guys. I don't know why it's been doing. Who like the ATS and Bob has been doing that? Where you jump out your camera. They gonna let us go here? Yeah. Yeah, when you gotta jump out your camera, whoop, it, 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 it tore our truck up. Um, here lately it's been doing that for some reason. I don't know what that's something that they need to fix. Our crew patrol. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Hear the jake break on this uh, truck. Turn right. I thought I turned that off before it wouldn't make that noise. I'll have to look at it again. Gonna be a short little night run today, guys. Just want to get in here and do some ETS too. Um, I don't particularly care too much for the European trucks. I do use them. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. I guess just because I, I I've never drove one of them, and I guess you don't really see them around here. I mean, 
there's nothing wrong with them particularly it's just I, I would prefer a truck like this over those trucks so as far as not really saying that I don't I, I don't wouldn't want one I can't tell you that because I've never drove, never drove one Let's see where we're at. Let's see where we're at on our map here. Oh, we got 72 miles to go. We need to take a little detour there. You know, we went the wrong way after doing the thumbnail, but that's okay. You know, no big deal over that. Like now, I made it. I almost went down the wrong road there. Still not kind of used to this road system too. I don't play it enough. I guess I need. I really need to play it a lot more, so I can get more used to it. I did hit that car. This truck is a little bit harder to turn on these roads. Keep left. Put the bright lights on here. Let me slow down with that thing won't be beeping. It's still beeping. It's 
speed limit here is 50. Pull and keep it right there. That's close to 50. It's about 45. We'll, we'll keep it right there at 45. turn right here we should just about be there Taking it to DH DHL. We're hauling cleaning supplies. Alright, so where they want it. Look how beautiful that truck looks. Let's not hit that trailer. We're over here looking at the truck if it ran into that trailer. That would be bad. We didn't hit the rail about twice. We have to have the front of our truck fixed. We're going to have to back up some more. We gotta get turned around. So we can bag it in. There we go. Don't hit it. Don't hit that uh, container there. There we go. 
But these trailers are a little bit different to back from the trailers on the on the ATS, so it may take us a little bit more longer. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. It's made a little bit over too far, I think. I mean, they, they'll accept it, but I, I really don't like that uh, parking job. Oh, what am I doing? That's not my trailer. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so we drove exit. We drove 159 miles. It took us four hours and 18 minutes to get here. We consumed 36 gallons of fuel. And we're at D DHL. We're going to see what else they got. We can pick up here. Ooh, that's a long ways. Everything's pretty long here, so we're not going to pick up anything there. Let's see what we got here. Time to hit the road. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this run over on ETS 2. Want to get in here and do another run? Still, like I said, still using John Rudy's Freightliner Classic over here. I, still, I was, absolutely do love this truck. This is a great looking truck. Uh, hats off to Mr. John Rudy for all the work he's done. Even on uh, over here for ETS 2. I would really like to see one of his other trucks, or maybe two of his other trucks, uh, be, be made compatible over here um, to add with this Freightliner. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, awesome, tr you know, truck. So thank you for everyone who's been watching. Thank you everyone who's been subscribing. And uh, have a good day.